The curl up is the only test option used to measure abdominal strength and endurance in the fitness gram. Prior to the beginning of the curl up, the examiner needs to ensure that each student has a partner. One student will perform the curl up while the partner will help the examiner watch for form breaks. The student performing the test lies with his back to the mat and face looking up. The knees are bent at a 140 degree angle with feet flat on the mat, legs slightly apart. The arms are kept straight and parallel to the trunk with the palms of the hands resting on the mat. The fingers are stretched out and the head is in contact with the mat. Once the student performing the curl ups assumes the correct position, the partner places the measuring strip on the mat and under the bent legs. The measuring strip is moved so that the fingertips are just touching the nearest edge of the strip. The audio CD cadence will indicate up, down, and the number of curl ups completed. With the pace called on the CD, students are signaled to start and perform each curl up slowly. We'll begin the curl ups now. Ready? Begin. Up. Down. One. Up. Down. Two. Movement up, should start with a slow down, curling up three, of the upper spine. Up, down, four, up, the fingers should slide across down, the measuring five, strip up, until the fingertips down, reach the other down, edge of the strip. Up, the student down, then slowly seven, curls back down up, until the head touches the mat. Down, eight, Heels should be up, kept in contact with the mat at all down, times nine, and movement should up, be slow and continuous. Down, the ten, protocol is quite up, different from the familiar and fast-paced sit-ups. Form breaks occur when the student's heels are no longer in contact with the mat, when the head does not touch the mat as the student curls back down, when movements become jerky, when the student stops to rest, when the student cannot keep up with the cadence, and when the fingertips do not touch the other edge of the strip. The examiner signals to the partner when a form break has occurred. The student is stopped when the second form break occurs, when the student can no longer continue, or when the student completes the limit of 75 curl-ups. The score for the curl-up is the number of curl-ups performed. The first form break or incorrect curl-up is counted in the score. It is important for the examiner to apply this scoring procedure consistently across all students. The examiner records this score as students complete the test. If the number of curl-ups completed is within or exceeds the range of the healthy fitness zone for the student's gender and age, the student meets the performance standard and should continue doing regular physical activity. If the number of curl-ups falls below the range of the healthy fitness zone, this indicates that the student would benefit from physical activities designed to improve abdominal strength and endurance. This video was developed to help ensure the curl-up is administered in a manner consistent with the Fitnessgram Test Administration Manual and California Physical Fitness Test Regulations and Guidance.